Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show all of you how in GIMP you can add a border around your text. So in this case, when I'm talking about a border, I mean that it goes all the way around your text, including the inner areas, in the case of a B or an R, letters like that. So basically anywhere where there's a gap, the outside areas are going to be covered with your border color. So there are, of course, a few different ways you can do this. Uh, let's start by deleting what I have, and then we'll create some new text. So I'm just going to delete these layers in the bottom right. And then this can basically be your starting point. A background image is totally optional. So first we have to create a text layer. So go up to the toolbox and select the text tool. You can set up whatever font and size you want. For the color, I'm going to make sure I have white selected. So I'll hit X to swap my foreground and background colors to make sure my foreground is white. Of course, you can use the color selector as well if you need. So I'll click where I roughly want to add my text, and then we'll add the text. So let's put in tutorial here. Now I'll use my move tool to move it into position. So these blue lines here, these are guidelines. I won't really get into it, but if you want to use them, you can find them in image guides. So those can help you to center your text like I'm going to do now. I'm just going to snap it right into the center position. Uh, so for the rest of this tutorial, I'll just get rid of these guides by moving them outside of the bounds of our canvas. So now we have our tutorial text. So we want to grab the outlines of it so that we can use that to create our border shape. So I'm going to go down to the layer window in the bottom right. I'm going to right click on our text layer. So that'll say whatever the text is, is the name of the layer. So tutorial, and I'm going to right click it and do alpha to selection. And you should see a border kind of pop up around your characters here. So it's this little dashed line with uh, black, not the one that is yellow and black, but just white but just uh, black with gaps. So now with this selected, let's go ahead and create a new layer that we can make changes to without affecting this base text layer. So I'm going to hit create new layer here and give it a name. I'll say border and fill with transparency. So we have our layer here. Uh, you can see the bounds of this are the bounds of our image, but we still have this center area selected with the text. So now our options are going to exist in the select menu. So a couple good options are grow and border. So if we choose the grow option, it's going to take the selection and it's going to move it a few pixels out in every direction. So we just end up with a bigger version of the same shape. And if we do border, it's going to actually make a new selection around basically this dashed line by a few pixels in and a few pixels out. So both can get you the same effect. So let's do grow first. And now we need to grow this selection by a number of pixels. So, so how much bigger do you want this border background to be than the original text? So I'll do five pixels. If you hit OK, you'll see that now the shape has grown. So it is bigger than the original shape. So what we can do with this now is fill it using the paint bucket tool. So I'm going to hit Shift B on my keyboard, or you can grab it up here in this little menu. And make sure you switch your foreground color to what you want the border to be. So I'm going to hit X to swap my background and foreground, making sure that my foreground that's the color in the top left over here is black. And then I can just click inside of any of these selected areas and it's going to fill it with that color. So now we have basically a black outline of the original shape. All we need to do to give it a border effect now is to move this layer below the text layer. So tutorial showing on top and that is going to cover the bigger black shape. But for the grown areas, we should get this black outline. So that is a decent way of getting this effect. So the other way is to just use the border effect. So let's hit Control Z a couple times. We'll get back here. I'm going to Control Z one more time. So we're in the original selection of our text. So now if we go up to the select menu, we can do border. And then you got to choose the number of pixels you want the border. So that's going to be a little bit in and a little bit out of this dotted line. And we have the ability to select the border style as well. So so when it comes to border style here, I would probably try to choose smooth or feathered to kind of round out the edges on the new border selection we're about to get. So let's do border selection by five, hit OK. When you zoomed out, it looks nice. But when you zoom really, really close in, you can kind of see the pixel selections there. But uh, of course, with a thumbnail like this, people aren't going to really see that. So let's do Shift B to get back into the paint bucket fill. And now we can click in to fill this border area. So one difference here using the border tool is that you can have the border kind of go inwards on your text a little bit, since the border is a selection both inside and outside of the original line. Now, if you don't want that extra thickness, you can just move your tutorial layer back up to the top. And it'll basically give you the same effect of using the grow selection. And honestly, I, I think this does look better. 
than the other way of having the inner border, especially with that amount of line thickness. But it's totally up to you uh, what you want to use there. So another way that you can kind of get a similar result, but I don't find it looks quite as nice in experience, is that if you right click on your original text and do alpha to selection, you could go up here and do stroke selection on your text, edit stroke selection. So let's turn off the border for a second here, and I'll just do that real quick. So edit stroke selection, and let's say stroke, solid color, five pixels, and then stroke it. Um, it gets you a very similar result, but I do not think it looks quite as smooth, especially with the rounded edges like this, than when you just do the simple border. So if I hit Control Z a couple times, and then we re-enable the border, you can kind of just see how this looks smoother. So that's why I would suggest you just stick to Grow or you stick to the Border tool and the Select menu. Um, just seems to give a better result. So that's pretty much all there is to adding a border outline to your text inside of GIMP. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for all of you. Thanks for watching to the end. I've been Chris, and I will see all of you in my future video content.